stopping on purpose so I could uh, get some more fuel and to really turn the steering wheel because I could really feel on the highway when I'm shifting lanes and stuff. It is, look, it's not twisted, it should twist out, you know, once I made that turn. Probably going to pop the hood open. Take a look underneath. I mean, uh, to take a look under the hood to make sure that the pump is spinning. That's going to be pretty important. I'll make a video of that. But before I do, let's listen to this. Okay, it's not doing anything right now. constantly gets stuck after I pull over and then I twist it a little bit and turn it it goes back to normal but this one needs power steering flush um, immediately so I guess as soon as I could make it home probably do it then or in warmer climate I don't think I want to really do it in cold this is what makes it tripping. As you can see, the diesel is uh, making it itself its way out. Probably past the seals. And just like towards the bottom. Yeah, calculation, guys. Uh, as far as how much uh, diesel I'm actually using, it's uh, doing 22.5 miles per gallon, so it's not affecting it that much. That's still considerably a really good economical, you know, type of situation, but it's supposed to be 24, 24.5. Due to the leak, that's uh, changing. But at least it's not a huge well, loss. I guess it's time for me to go. Um, I have 144 miles to make it to my destination. Seems like I'm gonna be there at 8.15 p.m. I must be there at 10 p.m. Turn right. And get some sleep and then tomorrow we'll see you know what happens but most likely I'm not gonna really mess with the fuel filter tomorrow because uh, it's usually the way things are you end up messing with it and you might not be able to solve it right away and you gotta load you have to go and you know you could be late um, and I don't like to be late ever but I hope these uh, things kind of help you out guys to try to figure out your problems I mean it's obviously I'm having like three problems right now which I haven't really even talked about uh, all of them in this video one of them being the steering wheel issue yesterday I just fixed the window and my turbo sometimes it feels like it's uh, getting stuck a little bit but out of the whole time I only got limp mode one time and it did not even show up on the computer I just have to clear the codes that it's not even showing yet and I have this diesel leak, which I thought I solved uh, in El Paso. Looks like I did it, um, because apparently it's just a seal. So if I knew a little bit more, I would have obviously just went ahead and uh, removed the fuel filter and got to replace the seals. I think I have the proper seals with me. Um, if I don't, it's not a big deal. I could just buy a fuel filter and replace it and just go ahead and use those seals. Just you know consider it done you know um but that's what happens guys you know vehicles sit for a while and they uh they get problems um what i think uh happened is that the yeah, seals well, got disintegrated well, yeah. due to the diesel and stuff they're always being a diesel so it was sitting for two years and uh i've owned it longer than that so I can't remember me even placing this fuel filter, so I've done so much work in the past that it's kind of hard to keep track. But as far as the fuel filter, I know it's performing fine, but chances are it could even be rusted too. I mean, this could happen, but right now I'm leaning towards the seals. And uh, in the warmer climate, if I would have actual time, I just got to uh, you know, replace the seals and just, you know, that would be fine. Thankfully, thankfully, and yeah, thank God, I'm busy, so I really don't have the time to deal with it. And thank God I'm not losing that much diesel, because if I was, it would create a little bit more of a problem. Just having, you know, like, even two miles per gallon loss, it's not a big deal right now. So, at least I can, you know, keep rolling and stuff. Uh, I don't idle my diesel, so, so none of it's going to get wasted anymore. 
Thank you.